Mungu barua I respect uh, his uh, no, no, his fledgling uh, political experience which he carries on his sleeve eh? uh, but uh, what worries me is his refusal to think his orthodoxy and the orthodoxy makes sure that he plays to the tribal script because if he doesn't play to the tribal script he becomes number one casualty in the forthcoming jubilee party nominations <laughs> that notwithstanding Jogu Barua I have looked in the crystal ball and I can see that uh, you are already a casualty the <laughs> jubilee party has got the preferred candidate so when you get to parliament please don't vote for this bill if you vote for it please understand that you have signed the political uh, was a very direct uh, attack on me and uh, and it is not surprising coming from Barak Moruka because Barak himself has not forgotten the old days when he used to be my boss at the publishing house so he worked for Barak? yeah he worked we, we are good friends so I, don't, I think the day he could uh, deny me, me a trip to their country I long gone now I'm a member of parliament you are bad boss so please <laughs> So don't don't think that I'm honor I'm, I'm Jogu Barua who will be assistant. Something has changed. I'm honor I'm member. You are not. Finally, secondly, <laughs> <laughs> I really sympathize with my friend Barack uh, Moruka, who I really try to, to respect sometimes, but it becomes difficult. But you still have to. I have to because yeah. he's my senior yeah. in terms of age, nothing yeah. else. Because I'm more educated than he is. Yeah. But uh, the thing, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, he tried to buy for seat. He was not rigged out. He was rejected. He never got even 200 votes in his own constituency. So he's bitter with the ruling class, with the members of parliament. Please calm down. Be realistic. And the issues.